I'm probably just gonna stick here for a few minutes and see if anyone shows up, which I'm not really expecting because I did not schedule this one. And also, if you want to have a good laugh at my expense, and I'm really glad there's actually nobody in here to hear this, but anyone replaying it is going to hear it. Um, <clears throat> this is the second time I went to, to, to actually stream tonight. Um, and the first time I realized a good five minutes in uh, that I had it set to private because I'd previously been fucking around trying to figure out uh, why my audio was like screwed up the last time. So I was just like talking to myself for five whole ass minutes. Because <laughs> I'm smart. Oh, look, one. Sad little person besides me is still here. Can you guess the theme of tonight's stream? Kitty, kitty, kitty. Ah! Don't be like that. Turn my phone volume down. So, anyway, Lucas, um, one of the things Lucas doesn't like to be called is uh, racist. Uh, and Lucas has this habit of sort of going, I guess, back and forth between whether or not he wants to be uh, racist or whether or not he wants to um, pretend that he isn't. My favorite is actually when he uh, when he does the thing that he... No one should ever say these words. These are horrible, horrible words. And if you say them, you're a horrible, horrible person and that kind of bullshit. Uh, and then he will turn right around less than a day later and start bitching about SJW's word policing everyone. It's like, come on, dude. Come on. We all know that you use. He, he, he does. And he, yeah, the title is a good one. He does. And he, he does it. He does it because all of his techniques are meant to try to get him a Gen Z girl, and he literally will throw anything at the wall and desperately hope that it will stick. Where is my lighter? Did I seriously leave it? Oh. My lighter is in the other room, and the drawer that has my other lighters is blocked by the tray that is holding the second laptop sitting next to me. Whatever locked in that room. No, I forgot something. At least it's a small house. So I'm hopefully not going to be around for three goddamn hours again, because I actually do have to work in the morning. I, unlike Lucas, I do contribute to society in monetary ways as well as, you know, other ways. Um, if I were in Washington, I'd say I'm paying for Lucas to stay at Mellon Place because he's a tax leech. Speaking of, I actually have to find a tax preparer. This year's the first year I... First year since I was 19 that I'll have to do my own taxes. And in that last year, I got divorced and bought a house. <laughs> and uh, th there's a lot of a lot of documents. Um, see, now, if you if you say that and Lucas sees that in the chat there, you know what he's going to do. He's going to assume <laughs> that if he <laughs> tries to play opposite day, that he'll get himself the chick. Um, he's like the worst. I, I mean, negging is bad enough. Like, when people try it, it's just pathetic. But when Lucas tries nagging, it's just, it's hilarious. So, these are not in order because Facebook search does not sort things well. Cat, I swear to God, do not knock that off the desk. Um, so, they're going to jump around in years, but there are some as recent as 2021. And we can just kind of go through Lucas's back and forth about how he feels about who can say the N-word and what he feels about people who do say the N-word. So we're going to start with the positive virtue signaling here first, which is the one that you see on the screen there. It says, if you're not black and you say N-word, I'm going to call you a racist just to see if you become an offended little snowflake. So, I know, but it is fun to say it out loud. And every now and then people who aren't familiar with Lucas run across these videos, and it saves them time from having to figure out if this is like a pattern with this dumb fuck or if it's something that he's been doing all his life. Um, hello. Now we're going to see how good I can be moving between windows tonight. Probably terrible, and I will not remember to look at the laptop next to me to see the chat, but we'll pretend that I will anyway. So this one that I just read off was from October 7th, uh, 2019. And these are all fucking mixed up, and most of the newer ones are at the top, so we're just going to zoop right back up. November 29th, 2020. 
bunch of n-words i'll say n-word till i get a lady n-word n-word this bullshit with me all day n-word to the end this one just n-word december 30th 19 1990 1990 2019 i'll say it till i get gen z pussy N word uh, a year before the first one. Uh, let's see, then we got here. Don't be racist, N word. You looked at my skin color and made an age phobic judgment on me. Dead ass based in ageism and racism. Okay, first of all, for somebody who claims to be as leftist as Lucas is. Uh, he should know damn well you can't be racist against white people. You can be prejudiced against white people. You can have your feelings about white people, but you cannot be racist against white people. It, it's that's not how racism works. So nobody's racist, but unless you're considering your, I mean, he might be kind of his own species that we could potentially be like species. I don't know. Um, God, this one was awesome. I'm just awesome. Awesome. Wow. I'm. Not in, I'm not good at Gen Z slang, if you can't tell. I am from the 90s um, and the 80s. Uh, just, oh, fur to little age foes. Oh, nasty. I don't yeet me a bay. I've never actually, I mean, like, I see dead ass typed all the time, but I tend to work around a lot of people who are a lot younger than I am, and, like, nobody talks like that. Like, nobody fucking talks like that. I liked that when Lucas uh, didn't know how to work the word fat phobia into things for a while, so he was saying that he wasn't weightist. But he totally is. Anyway, let's see. Do people really expect Obama to say, yeah, and word we need to make weed legal so me and Joe Biden can get high off some presidential dank Michelle picked from the White House garden last night? Um, okay. I don't even want to know where that one was going. Lucas probably figures out what he thinks is Gen Z slang by taking a handful from a scrabble bag and just, like, throwing it across his room. Oh, I wonder if women will realize that calling man dude is not cool, like a white guy calling a black guy N-word. Calling us, yeah, that's a false equivalency if I've ever seen one. Calling us dude isn't as bad as N-word, but really, it's like us calling you bitches. That's our word, goddammit. Bitches is your word, or dude is your word? Dude, we're the same age. Dude is not your, dude is not a, that's not, how does he not even know how to use slang he grew up with? Jesus Christ. That is so Super annoying. Everything that comes out of his head is word salad. He should try to eat a little more salad. He might help his weight and diabetes a little bit. We better be fucking or family. You can call us bitches, but we're going to count that as you trying to start a fight? If you're calling anything a bitch, you'd better be doing it with all intended sarcasm and not be serious. It's Fighting words, and you essentially just slap my mama on the way to the gay bar. And if you broke the, so he'll censor the. And I'm not going to say the F one either because YouTube will probably get mad about it. But he censors that one, but doesn't censor the actual racial slur. Hmm. On your way out, all those. Balloons and your balloon are going to be tight like slugs at a trance concert? What in the fuck did that mean? No. Oh, so Lucas posted this terrible picture of some man with uh, pockets full of baked beans and says, Gotta go, this N word eating pocket beans. Here's a story that never happened. These cute young white girls walking behind me. One of them says N-word. Within earshot, I say racist. She punches a garbage can. Her friend <laughs> says to her, See, this is why you're not his procreative type. I really don't care if you believe me. At least half the shit orbiters say 
about any of us isn't even true. That is literally not a thing that happened. <laughs> I'm, great. I'm not going to finish the ravioli thing. <clears throat> uh, hey, actually, here's an accurate post Lucas made about himself. We're all in the gutter. Some of us are just staring at the stars, not me looking forward to the drain myself. Yeah, that's, that's accurate. I bet I have more brown friends than you. I know them all by their first names, too, N-word. Oh, there's comments on this one. Wow, Luke. Okay, he must have just deleted a bunch of shit. What? Fuck. This is from 2010, so he was still with Suzanne in this one. When it's just us boys, forget about it. Straight kicking back, all cool. One spitting game like an orangutan. The others all G and we shoot him a cheese ball. All right now, like you're naked. Dosing peanut butter right into my testicles? It's a toadstool cap off like a N-word ain't pleased yet. You know chowder bling. It's good to know that word salad's not a new thing, because I didn't understand any of that. Um, I'll see you later. Uh, let's see, Lucas grew up in a town of 3,000 people and 11 churches. He walked everywhere, day or night. There are days when no one's ever around outside. Now he's in a city with 50,000 people, less churches, and he still walks. Okay? Oh, God, this is long. I'm not reading this. Sly race is so sly, it's almost obvious. Kind of like you, Lucas. White dudes who call each other N-word, you uh, think I'm pretty, oh so pretty? What? Oh, look, here we go, back to 2020. Triplicate of N-words, be offended, I'm white, and said N-word, boo-hoo, maybe be offended by oligarchy instead. Or N-words. Oh, look at there. If you're not black and you say the N-word, I'm just going to call you a racist. Oh, this is, these are so awful. Oh, this is Lucas trying to be political. The president is hardly the most powerful person in the United States. Otherwise, everyone would walk around going, I'll <laughs> <Heil> Obama. <laughs> And all the white people would be shot. I'm not, I'm just not seeing this. Any Tea Partiers care to elaborate? What in the fuck is he talking about? This is what the Tea Party wants. Nothing major, just a strong white leader and Mexican slaves? Um, okay. All they really know is that Obama is black and their demagogues tell them it's wrong for white America to have the face of a N word. <sighs> Lucas. Okay, well, on the topic, white guys need to stop saying the N word. Stop saying the N word. And then th these jump through years, so they're not like posted within quick succession of each other. Um, so that one was 2014, and then we. Bump up to 2020 here. Um, I'm left of liberal. What grinds my gears about liberals is how often they note that we're all N-words because we're gen all genetically African. Well, the word N-word doesn't offend me. I notice that a lot of white youth who casually use it only date other white people. To be fair, the only ones truly qualified to be quasi-racist are the atheists because most non-whites are Christians and atheists who date Christians often find it hard to overcome the differences such as blatant sexism of religious males and some of the abrasiveness of religious females. You fucking Ferengi! Christians tend to lie more than atheists, yet atheists are largely distrusted for no reason other than ignorance. Did he just like start a thought and then completely abandon it midstream? Is that what happened there? 
because I, I feel like he put several different. I really hate this word, and it's one of those words that it was the word in high school to describe certain types of of usually white boys that would dress like they weren't. Um, and they usually had, I don't even want to call them dreads because they weren't. It was just like matted hair that they usually used like fucking Elmer's glue to hold together. It's just, the 90s were not as great as like nostalgia wants y'all to think. It was pretty fucking god awful most of the time. Um, but yeah, I, <laughs> it's always so weird to see somebody use that word again because that's a word we just all kind of collectively abandoned at one point. Um, but yeah. Well, let's see what does Lucas have to say about the almost the N word. N word implied. You're not swag. You're not a N word. You can't rap. Your rhymes are all about pussy, weed, and money. You're not Eminem. You're not Marky Mark. Am I the only one here old enough that when they see Marky Mark, their brain just automatically adds on the funky bunch after it, regardless of whether it's written there or not? Please tell me I'm not the only one here old enough to do that i probably am and i don't like that idea you're not even snow 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 is a in one hit wonder but okay see the only thing i can think of when i think of snow now is uh jim carrey back on in living color if you remember that show uh he did a parody of snow's informer that was actually really good um it's still up there on youtube somewhere but he, he basically kind of calls it out that you know that he was able to basically make a rap that mentioned cop killing and other things that got certain uh, music by other not white rappers immediately banned and yelled about. Um, so that that was an actual really good Jim Carrey skit. Thank Christ! It's, it's always I don't as long as that man still goes by Marky Mark in any capacity, my brain's always going to add in the Funky Bunch. Uh. My mind wandered. Okay, here, 2013. Boy, hey, N-word. Girl, don't call me N-word. I'm your girlfriend. Girl proceeds to run, thinking the guy is going to chase her, throw her to the ground, and make sweet love to her on the sidewalk. Which isn't bloody likely, since the boy is the narrator merely imagining the scene. Even though the young woman ch totally checked him out, maybe. Yet she proceeds to run for the aforementioned reason she's a presumptive tart and the sidewalk is no place for a proper shagging? I don't think it's the teenagers that have something wrong with them, Lucas. Just putting that out there. What kind of stupid ass lame fantasy is that? Like that's I mean, there's bad acting in porn when they try to put scripts and like dialogue and shit into it. But even porn dialogue isn't this bad. Like that would be something that somebody who writes porn scripts would look at and just like throw in the trash. It's that stupid. Oh god, I do not want to think of Lucas becoming a juggalo that's somehow actually he'd probably get himself killed uh yeah well let's see here oh we got some dating advice from 2020 if you want college age pussy all you have to go up to her and do is go up to her and say n-word and you offend an entire group of people who got your humor before anyone else understood the black guys I'm pretty sure if you just walk up to a random stranger, especially as a fat, smelly, middle-aged white man with a big-ass bald spot, and just, like, whisper the N-word at some random woman, you're probably going to get your ass kicked. Um, that's not people not getting your humor. I'm just probably going to be better at it than Lucas is at Zoomer slang. Obama is the coolest N-word. FYI, just because you're gay doesn't mean you know the hate I know. Take that for what you will. <laughs> gay is like the new gangsta. Bully for you just because you're gay isn't a free pass to be racist. Well, okay. 
I seriously do not give a fuck about your beefy machismo attitude, N-word. Blow it off, player. I got mine. No, you don't. Oh, it's 2011. Maybe he still did have his. Just give me a gun. Forget you, N-word. Oh, Nazi chicks. Okay. Oh, this should be fun. 2014. The only thing I want to do is trick a Nazi chick into sex. Oh, so you want to sexually assault somebody. Okay. Because I feel the trick jerk is of success as a trip, a N word off into governmental plot telling me what I not here I am or not. What the fuck? Tr trying to pull her off? Is this English? This is, this is English, right? This is, I'm looking, this is English. I don't know if he knows that one yet. I know he knows Latina, but he usually just calls them Latin. Where was I? Oh. As I pull into my logical side and try to fathom of a suicide, she float me off the Jesus as though I got a rock. That sauce as the trip trigger. What is this? Trip trigger falls into the floss and I get done wither and proffer an, another offer of ill as I fall her, as I pit my neighbor, gnaws and I flip wither and I trill wit, winter and skill inter telling me all of my awesome tosses I serve up to the drop? I'm glad there's a question mark at the end of that because I have questions. A lot of questions. I don't know what I just read. I legitimately do not know what I just read. Like what? I'm going to guess nobody here has any fucking idea what I just read either. No? Good, because I'm screenshotting that one. Because I don't know what the hell it is, and maybe it'll make sense when I'm sober in the morning, or maybe it won't. I doubt it will, but we'll we'll try anyway. Afghan, hurry up and open. Okay, insanity captured. Oh, he's in a Nazi kick. Yeah, see, Lucas was still, the last time Lucas got away from the anything but Asian or white, um, he was previously kind of obsessive with, um, with black people, with anyone of any sort of brownish skin that looked exotic to him. Uh, but he decided he didn't like those after a while because they were too outspoken and loud and bitchy. And he wanted a nice, submissive Korean woman. He tells you he doesn't know any Korean women, but yeah. So apparently he likes to just be racist with his preferences, too. He's, his brain is still stuck in the 90s. Like, my brain is still stuck in the 90s, too. If you ask me, I'm not thinking I'm going to tell you the 90s was like less than 10 years ago because I do not do linear time all that well. But uh, yeah, he's... And he's, like, bad at it. Like, how are you bad at 90s slang and shit when you grew up in the 90s? He was a teenager. He was in middle school and high school in the 90s. Same age as me. Well, actually, I'm a little bit older, but... <clears throat> Roughly the same age. He would have been in middle school and high school all through the 90s. He should know how to fucking use 90s slang. Of all the slang possible, he should know how to use 90s slang. Because it's what he was a kid with. God, he's so stupid. All right, so... <clears throat> Nazi chicks are sluts and Nazi dudes are gay. See, he's right there doing what a woman does and she's right there doing what I do. Don't be a Nazi, be a slut, be gay. It's better than being a closet or a fucking racist, you closet N-word lover, you gay dude. No one cares. Gay is A-OK. -okay. My cousin is gay. There's nothing wrong with wanting a man. Yes, and what up to you too, cupcake? I, oh my god. I'm not going to read that Occupy nonsense. He, no. Oh, now we're up to 2019, and we say overuse of the word N-word has gone on for three generations now. If that isn't a sign of human genetics going to shit, that has nothing to... He doesn't know how genetics work. Oh, we got the hard R. Here we go. Look at that. 2014, October 14th, the word hard R and word isn't inherently evil. 
It comes from the Spanish word, which I'm not going to pronounce because I will fuck it up. Um, look, I can barely do German without fucking that up and something like I'm still originally from almost Canada. We're not doing Spanish. I will absolutely fuck the Spanish up. But anyway, it's a Spanish word for black. Then N word again. Hey. Another from 2014, about a month later. Why is it when you're a white guy and you say N-word, it gets younger women to laugh? He doesn't know what nervous laughter is. That means all of you here should probably know Lucas by now. He doesn't know what um, what nervous laughter is like at fucking all. He just doesn't. I thought you were describing squeezy jibs for a second there. Oh, look, it's a stupid spammy thing. Let's just get rid of that. Bye. Okay. Why are there 22 people here? Where was I? All right, there's a can of tuna fish on my deck I put up for the neighbor's cat, but this blue jay is in it now. Like, fuck yeah, tuna fish, N word. Jeez, more like a white jay. What a racist. What? Fuck. God. He probably doesn't even know the words to Ice Ice Baby, so he gets to fail the 90s entirely. Godless anarchist female. Ferengi! Coming up all, I ain't queer, which is a word I can say because I do belong to that demographic. Do not come for me. N word. Get your white little privileged female Ferengi crotch crotchless jeans. They can't be skorts if there's they can't be skorts if they're crotch if it's a crotchless shorts or skirts. Lucas, crotchless skorts or skirts. Oh my god. And, and I need to learn how to punch somebody through TCPIP. We're talking about old people things. Well, I mean, Lucas could wear a skirt. He wouldn't have to worry about anything hanging off the bottom of it. That's for damn sure. He could even get away with like a micro mini and not have to worry about anything peeking out. That's a disgusting thought. Why did I put that thought in my head? I'm gonna I'm gonna blame I'm gonna blame you for that. That's that's entirely your fault. That is no, it's not sleep deprivation. I'm just really, really high. Um <laughs> I slept probably Jesus, I know I, I slept from I left work early yesterday actually because I got the migraine ore that told me I was gonna go fucking blind in one eye in about ten minutes and had a six minute drive home. So they helped me leave early. My dog was super good and Played nicely and quietly and was like very worried that I was just like in bed and didn't want to do anything. And I basically slept from about 5.15 yesterday evening to almost 8 this morning. And then I napped again this evening. So I've had a lot of fucking sleep. Uh, no, Lucas does not. Lucas is not going to wear no short. No, no. Oh, God. No. That's disgusting. That is, all I can picture is like Homer Simpson in teeny bitty shorts. It's terrible. Oh, no, 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 no. He's got those skinny little chicken legs on top of that. Oh, my God. He'd look like a beach ball on twigs. What the fuck? That's a terrible mental image. I have no idea what I was reading. Yeah, God, it, God, God, it, that is proof that God is dead. Somebody put in the image of fucking Lucas in, like, shorty shorts and mini skirts in my head. They're fucking nightmares. Ugh. Let's see. Mmm, ice water. Nice and cold like a motherfucking snow cone, N-word. Why do these fundies say bitch N-word and F-slur so much? Because uh, they're misogynistic, racist, and homophobic, probably. Uh. Oh, Lucas and Daisy Dukes. Gross. I'm not going to read that. That's too much junk. 
flip the switch and see what else we find. It's with Facebook searches are so weird because um, with the most recent filter off, I see one list, and when I turn it back on, I see part of that list and like a bunch of other shit that it didn't show. And this is just somebody posting on his wall. People trolling him. No, no. No. Yeah, there's just like weird shit like mixed in here. I don't even know. Oh, <laughs> here's one from 2020. If I got married right now, I might lose all my disability benefits. But if Bernie Sanders becomes president, we might get universal health care. So I wouldn't even need those benefits. Bernie means I might get to be able to get married and have children someday. If anyone's going to save the United States of America, it's Bernie Sanders. No, it's not. <laughs> Honestly, it would be kind of funny to get uh, Lucas and that Marshall Mathers the fourth guy onto a stream together and see if they either become like best friends instantly or if they just like try to tear each other apart. Does that guy still make videos? Marshall Mathers the fourth? That guy's fucked up. And but that guy is actually potentially dangerous. Lucas is Yeah. Yeah, like not enough not enough people who like cover like incels and creeps and shit cover Marshall Mathers the fourth. Like it's hard to find like commentary on him that's not his own. Uh, but that guy I think actually does have potential to be pretty dangerous. Which is maybe why nobody's kind of gone after him. I think he still makes videos. But uh, yeah, he's got a million and one excuses as to why he can't get a job and how he hates his parents for letting him live with them like rent free despite the fact that he's an adult. Is he still around? I haven't looked at his channel in a long time. I can't remember where I, I think I found it somewhere on a cringe Reddit, one of his videos about him talking about how he'll never get a, this is Marshall Mathers the fourth, by the way, not Lucas I'm talking about right now. But the one video of him talking about how he'll never get a girlfriend because he has like weird fetishes around like farting and pooping and shit. It's like, yeah, you probably don't want to put that out there for the public to consume. You might just want to make a fat life a cunt and go nuts. Yeah, he's, I mean, he at least probably could be functional if he got into some great therapy and maybe, you know, didn't have to live with his parents. But, like, Lucas is beyond that. Yeah, that, and then, yeah, there was another one where he was, like, bitching about, like, not having a video game console that he wanted and how he was, like, addicted to porn. It's like, if that dude's addicted to porn, I feel bad for him. Addictions are a bitch. But you're also an adult, so deal with it. Uh, I don't know. She's getting a little old. She's over 18 now. Lucas might not be interested anymore. Oh, here's another one from 2020 when he still thought Bernie was going to win. Bernie, you're bust. I'm tired of all this shit. The classes and the clock, or clock, block, clock blocking. Yeah, that's a real thing. Clock blocking. So you, know, you know what's clock block here is the, uh, my actual two on the wall clocks because this place has fucking concrete walls and I do not know how to hang a clock on a concrete wall. I don't know how to hang anything on a concrete wall. It's not sticky. It's got old Victorian runners across the top that you're meant to just put picture hooks in, uh, which I guess kind of works, but it's like really weird having concrete walls that look like drywall. Yeah, he thinks that'll work. Like he tries that. Like repeatedly he tries that and I'm pretty sure every instance we've seen where he's had a black eye is probably when he tried it in person. Was he bitching about Bernie? Oh, the cock blocking, the age phobia, Trump and his gang of goons, pearl grasping, wine cork tuning Democrats offended by everything, a dying planet, the billionaires, no love for the poor unless you give them food and wish them on their merry way, religion, superstitious, late stage capitalism, all of the fucking stuff you give them. Look at shut up. Not racist. is this one i can just see it now this is from 2019 me and the rest of the left and the rest of the left wing like all of the left wing okay i'm already lost in his fantasy so there's lucas the, the at this time would have been just shy of 40 year old and the rest of the left wing who are all like 21 i'm 40 little 21 year old white boy rolls up on a white girl grinning calls her a slut white Chick cold clocks the dude what n-word white boys like n-word what 30 seconds later they're making out on the floor me and the 21 year old black dudes looking at this shit grimacing 
one eyebrow raised each of us in that Mr. Spock look of this is highly illogical, Captain. He has the dumbest fantasies. Like, you know how dumb someone's fantasy has to be for it to actively annoy me when I hear about it? Oh, yeah, his Bernie Sanders upon you. But, I mean, he thinks Bernie Sanders is poor, so. I mean, I wouldn't mind having 350 grand in the bank when someone call, call me poor. I'm not going to really, oh, it's probably barely middle class these days, but. I technically actually live below the poverty level, but cost of living is super, super low where I am in general. And it's especially low if you don't care if you're living in the middle of a college campus full of low rundown rentals. And I do not care that I live in that neighborhood because, you know, who doesn't bother other people? College students. They're usually asleep at class or at work. <laughs> I don't think I've... I've seen the cat that lives next door more often than I've seen the three women that live there. And I basically only see them going to and from their car in the morning or in the evening when they're going to or getting back from work. Lucas really needs to keep Star Trek out of everything because he doesn't understand it. And that, that on a nerd level, I mean, it's just completely irrational, but on a nerd level, that infuriates me. Like, he doesn't, like, how do you not understand? He's one of those people that would go into, like, a Star Trek group and bitch about Star Trek being woke as if that was a new thing. No, Lucas does not have the mind to be a Cardassian. He's too fucking stupid. He would, have, he would have completely just flunked out of every school they had and probably would have been put away in an institution somewhere because his brain doesn't work. The best neighbors are the ones who leave you alone and the ones who have six-month leases and cycle out every six months. No incentive to get to know anybody, and I don't want to because that would mean I have to go out and be social with people outside of work, and I'm not getting paid for that. I'm being paid for it when I'm at work, so I'm as social as you want me to be. Yeah, he's entitled and maybe a little... He's Lucas is more like... Um, I'm still going to go with an unsuccessful Ferengi. Like, he wants to be rich. He wants to be all that. He wants to be popular. He wants all the women to touch his ears. And he's got small ears. But he's not, like, smart enough to actually make any money. So... God, Lucas's memes are... Lucas doesn't even know what memes are. Like, he doesn't... Oh, he doesn't even know what memes are. White Zoomer chicks out there at the bar like, I need an N-word while only dating white guys. Where's that one again? If you ever accuse a cute white girl of being a violent racist just for saying N-word? Now I know why Antifa comes in with the homemade blast shields. In a way, language doesn't bother me. Oh, I see Star Trek at the end. Uh, but all the same, it's one way to alert them that three generations of the same fucking word to mean dude is boring as shit. And to be honest, it really does piss off a lot of black people when you're not black and say it, even if you're Mexican and say N-word with bees instead, it's still going to annoy. For first, does anyone say, is that really a word? Just what we need, Star Trek, but with the N-word floating around like Tribbles in the... Spell Jeffrey's tubes wrong. And Tribbles weren't floating around in Jeffrey's tubes. They were in the grain bin in the bar. And then they just kind of spread because people kept feeding them. Yeah, I, I don't know why he just jumped right to Mexicans on that one. Yeah, but he'd be, like, even bad at... Like, Cardassians are at least good when they're trying to, like, manipulate people. Like, they've thought it through, or maybe Dukat doesn't think it through very well. But they at least try to think it through and have some kind of plan, and they don't make it, like, overtly obvious that that's what they're fucking doing. Like, Lucas might as well just walk up to him and say, hey, I'm going to manipulate you now. That's about how obvious. He's a like brick to the face. Just a complete brick to the face in terms of subtlety. Also, I like Cardassians. They're a really interesting species. Um, and if you've never read A Stitch in Time, the one that Andy Robinson wrote, uh, it's definitely worth getting the Kindle version. It's a very, very good book. And he does a whole lot of world building in it. That was a weird sidetrack to take, but I'm rereading that book again, and I really love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Stitch in Time, definitely check it out. It's impossible to find um, actual hard copies of it anymore because it's been out of print for so long. Like, you can get them, but they're going to put you back like two, three hundred bucks. But the Kindle one is, is basically priced like a normal book. 
Um, so yeah, Stitch in Time is is more than worth a read. Um, if you haven't watched the, um, there were some podcasts that that um, that Andy Robinson was on with a couple other people um, during the pandemic, and there were ones where he would read fan fiction that people had written that, as Garrick. Uh, and then a few of the other actors and actresses would sometimes get involved to read the parts for their characters, and it's it's honestly really great. Uh, this is a much better topic than Lucas <laughs> for a side. Um, but yeah, that was in one of those podcasts where you get to actually hear him uh, talk about the time he hooked up with Ducat, so that was interesting. Um, and not what I was expecting when I was mindlessly listening to it at like 8 in the morning. <laughs> you are kind of rewind and go, wait, did he just say what, wait, what? Um, but yeah, Lucas... Lucas every now and then mentions Star Trek, uh, like he pretends that he likes it or has seen it, but I don't think I, I, that he's actually seen it. Um, actually, I know he hasn't watched much Deep Space Nine, because that's primarily, if you can't tell, that's primarily the series I watch, um, followed by original series, because I grew up watching reruns of that with my mom, who is like an OG Trekkie, like the kind that buys two of everything. Um, so there's one that you like keep in the packaging and all that shit, and then there's one that you just uh, play with because it's a toy. And, uh, yeah, I grew up with that. Um, I gave her, <laughs> I gave her, I guess, some 3D printed latinum, um, and I gave her a couple of slips. And she never really got too into Deep Space Nine, but she, like, knew what they were, and she knew what Frangie and all that stuff were. And she looks at me, and she says, slips, I'm your mother. I'm like, get a job! <laughs> but, yeah, that's, yeah, so I grew up in a family of, of Trek fans, um, and I don't want Lucas in that fandom. He's gross. He's gross. I, I, I don't care how much he allegedly likes Star Trek. He's gross. He, that, I, honestly, the Star Trek fandom, if you never accidentally wander into the white supremacist Nazi side of it, um, they're all pretty left-leaning, and someone like Lucas would get run out fast for the way he treats women. So Deep Space Nine is... Like, it was on, it was on TV. Like, I was... I watched it on television when it was originally being broadcast because old, uh, same with Next Generation. But um, Deep Space Nine is a bit of a shift that you kind of you don't really have to watch in order because I didn't. Um, but a lot of things, even right up to the very last episode of the series, make infinitely more sense if you watch it from the beginning. And like the first season, season and a half is kind of slow. But when you get to the seasons further on, you see how much just, like, fucking world building was done in those first couple of seasons. Um, and, like, they frequently will reference stuff that happened before, so it's not... And after getting used to Deep Space Nine, it was really hard to go back and watch, like, the original series and Next Generation, because those weren't serialized. And, like, things would happen, and were just, like, never mentioned again. Um... But yeah, it definitely is. And other than that one, there's that one, that one Ferengi episode, the Prophet and Lace, that is so, it's horrible. Like even the people who were acting in it hated it. Um, but the worst part about it is it's so perfectly 1990s edgy humor for all of the offensiveness of it. And it sucks because it actually had the potential to be a really good plot. And then they were just like, no, we're just going to make like an hour of trans jokes. But that is where you also learn that you can just basically walk into your doctor and say, yeah, I would like you to switch my gender up, please. And the doctor's just like, oh, what is it, Tuesday? Okay, get on the table. Um, and then you can switch right back, too, if you want. Um, and there's other episodes where you see that people can, like, straight up switch species. I mean, you've seen that in the original series with uh, in the tr Trouble with Tribbles, uh, with the, the Klingon that um, had done a bunch of surgery to appear human. But then when they took his vitals, they realized he wasn't. A fucking human because his vitals were all wrong um yeah that episode would not <laughs> no i mean that episode even at the time nobody really liked it and people were just kind of like <laughs> uh, i don't mind that one i don't like i mean the scenes with vic fontaine always just kind of bore me because i don't think that was I, that would just really wasn't an interesting thing to me um Oh man, I just I specifically got the two disc Blu-ray of Chain of Command from Next uh, Generation, which is amazing. And most of the cut scenes, I understand why they cut because they don't really add anything. But the one that kind of bugged me is they cut like this five-second clip uh, from from when um, Gomadred and, and Picard are going back and forth at it, and 
Madrid's telling Picard about how, you know, Cardassia's climate is absolute shit and they've had like tons of famine, they're short on resources, there's disease and death, and the military fixed that, and that's, you know, why they don't have to worry about starving anymore because they basically steal from other planets at that point. And they cut out a part, not, and they left in the part where Picard offered like Federation help and all of that, but they cut out the part where he explained what he meant and what could be arranged and that it wasn't like charity. And it made the entire tone of that conversation completely different and made Madrid look even more irrational than he was. Um, so I actually like that Blu-ray version. I have the cut scenes uploaded somewhere. Um, but yeah, that one just kind of baffled me as to why they cut those like two lines out that completely changed the tone of the scene. Back to Lucas. I could talk about Star Trek way too long and nobody, well, I suppose y'all are still here, so some of you must be here for Star Trek, apparently. Oh, anyway. Lucas, get out of the fandom. You don't just get to call black people N-word if you're not black. Even if you get a pass, you don't get to use... It's not a real thing. Yeah, that, but just that particular scene especially, just, I bet it's short enough I could probably upload it and nobody would care. Just have a million Lucas videos in one fucking Star Trek video. <laughs> On the channel to just to confuse people who wander in. Uh, you know, Star Trek's far right fandom is bizarre. I've run into some of them that have joined groups that I'm in that didn't realize it was like a Star Trek group and not like a fucking Stormfront front. And they bitch about like new series being too woke, and it's like, have you seen the original series? Like, yeah, by today's standards, the original series wasn't, you know, woke, woke. They were pretty subtle about what they did. But it's like, did you, did you watch Did you watch The Next Generation? Did, did you watch Deep Space Nine? Did you watch, did you, have you watched Star Trek at all, basically is the question. Um, I would not subject a, a, anyone from, no, I would not subject any of them to Lucas. I would not subject, that would be terrible. Yeah, for, especially for the sixties. Especially for the sixties, uh, original series was really woke. The worst thing about it for me for the original series is the episode. I think it's Plato's stepchildren, the one that had the first interracial kiss on TV. That's not what I remember the episode for. What I remember that episode for is the uh, small person riding Captain Kirk like a horse. Well, Captain Kirk was made to be a horse and rear up on his hind legs and whinny. With Dr. McCoy watching horrified that this was happening. He slapped Kirk on the ass while he was riding him like a horse in a circle for the amusement of uh, an alien species with telekinesis. <laughs> Deep Space Nine was honestly just kind of a world-building one. Like you got some, some closure for stuff that happened in Next Generation. You get to find out more about... Bajor, the war that was going on there, the war between the Federation and the Cardassians, uh, how the Ferengi kind of changed their entire society over the course of a few years. Um, it's, it's a lot of world building. Lucas probably would want that uh, transporter that the Ferengi had when they transported um, Deanna and her mom over to their ship and just beamed them on over without their clothes because females don't wear clothing. It's disgusting and deviant. That's actually one of my favorite, <laughs> one of my favorite <laughs> Deep Space Nine ones when uh, Cork gets the audit from the FCA and they go home with Brunt in tow, the liquidator, and his fucking mom's like fully dressed and Cork is horrified because, oh my god, mom, you're wearing clothes. And this liquidator's like, your mother's wearing clothes. And Cork turns around and just demands his mother go undress. And she's like, fuck you, it's my house. And the whole time, Brunt's like, is she talking to me? Oh my god. And he's like averting his eyes like it's the most obscene thing he's ever seen. That is absolutely Lucas without any of the charisma. Ugh. Lucas would get banned. From the holodeck. I do not know if Lucas likes Star Wars, and I don't want to know. Well, here he actually censored it. 
Why do so many relationships begin with having sex now? Huh. Somebody posted this on his wall. People trolling Lucas and he doesn't realize that they're trolling him. I'll shut you right out if you fight me. Nobody's fighting you. Oh, here's where he got catfished in the 2016. Oh my goodness, this is an old catfish. He can stay out of it, yes. What's happening is I cannot keep my brain on track for one thing. Yeah, Jeffrey Combs was awesome. Um, there was one, it's still somewhere up on YouTube, but it was at a convention that um, him and Casey Briggs um, read some scenes from uh, Shakespeare as Wayun and um, Damar. That was kind of fun to watch. The video itself was kind of blurry and from a distance because it was a stage thing, but uh, the audio is still pretty good. Hitler's appeal to greed and sloth to increase German prosperity without requiring Germans to work for it led to the Holocaust because confiscating Jewish property seemed to make them greedy. Replace Hitler with Trump and Jews with Muslims and Mexicans. That's not what caused the Holocaust. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Lucas. The party is anywhere Lucas is. Actually, I should, if I <laughs> open my back door, I can probably tell you if there's a party going on outside. There was one starting up about an hour ago. Oh, Christ, that's an old video. This was actually, I think, the first video on his YouTube channel, his original YouTube channel, too. Hey, let's see if my audio will work and not, like, fuck up and be all skippy and we can listen to the first YouTube video Lucas posted. Okay, Cupid and plenty of fish for nearly five years. Okay, is that like skipping or being weird? Lucas doesn't understand anything. Okay, I don't think it was being weird, so let's try this again. Uh, it seems to me that millennial chicks, that's pretty much any female adult under the age of 35, but let's just say I've tried to hit up chicks that are under 26. And millennial chicks, to me, are a bunch of bigots. While there are very oh, yeah, the doubling effect was like I am from Bernie fans, uh, they only really the date and, uh, millennials. The other computer, so could and, pick that up through the... It's absurd because and it stopped now that I meet her we know she now from current research, research that breeding with males under the 35 age range, I'm 37 in November, is bad for the gene. So this is my offer. It's Red Robin with me. Or it could be any restaurant downtown Spokane. He was on a Red Robin kick about this time. Yeah, I don't know. So what happened with it the other day was occasionally when the system updates, it undisables the speakers that are built into my monitor, and I don't, um, I don't um, know why it does that. But they were on, and it was picking up other sounds, and it was just being stupid. But yeah, Lucas was really obsessed with Red Robin around this time because he probably couldn't afford like Churchills or some shit. Hey, look back when Lucas, well, he still had a bald spot, but at least when his front was not. He made many memes out of this picture. That is weird to look at the side screen and see the stream because it's like a few seconds behind where I actually am in reality and I feel like I'm in a space ball scene. This isn't very long. Let's do some junk science. Well, yeah, he goes there every year for his free burger, and he goes to, like, IHOP for, oh, for free pancakes and whatever. He probably could restaurant hop all day. Gee, which one of these two ranks do I want to... I'm going to go for the longer one. And there's comments on it. So this one's from 2016. It's too late for coffee. The age gap of at least 10 years ought to be mandatory. Not only is ageism bigotry, it's 
Bigotry is a hate crime. Same age couples argue all the time. These things are not related. The Fibonacci sequence is the pattern of nature. It is in the golden spiral of everything in nature from the Milky Way to DNA. Oh, it was Fibonacci sequence in 2016. That's right. And he got back into that in 2020. He wishes he could actually be a simp. He doesn't even know how to do that right. Yeah, I wonder if he thinks like couples with age gaps don't argue because I would like to present my 20 year marriage in which there was constant arguing because she was a narcissistic bitch. Um, but, you know, what, what, that was only a 21 year age gap and he said 10, so. Hmm. God, he's talking about monkeys again. Why did a post about monkeys come up with a racial slur search, Facebook? Oh, five years of denial or like a burning cross jabbed into my heart. I have an EBT card. Bernie Sanders and Jesus Christ love the poor more than anyone. I wonder if it'll load the comments because there's a lot of them. <laughs> Boy, can you not? <laughs> Oh, there's lots of comments. Let's take a look at this. Got a bunch of people saying, what the fuck, what the fuck. Are we arguing? The English noun bigot is a term of abuse aimed at a prejudiced or closed-minded person, especially one who is intolerant or hostile of different social groups, especially and originally other religious groups, and especially, 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 one whose own beliefs are perceived as unreasonable or excessively narrow-minded, superstitious. Or, uh, this is like Wikipedia and bigotry and ageism. Someone asked him how much time he has, and he ends up just copy-pasting it. Rape culture is young men trying to get away with everything. Uh, yelling that he blocked people. Holy fuck, here comes the kitty diddler. <laughs> liars, leave, leave. Nope, liars like Juki have no place. I will block you for being an ageist bigot or a liar. Haters block, don't start with me. Some dude asks, do you ever step back and wonder why you have haters? Ugh. Violence is a sign of sociopathic behavior. Hate crime is illegal. It's not a hate crime to not like a pedophile, Lucas. Younger males mating with women their age corrupts DNA. And someone compares him to Hitler. Uh, then she says, or he says, what we have here is a matter of bigotry ruining the human genome. Bigotry ruins our species societally and genetically. And my feelings are for young, beautiful women. Ugh. So then someone says, uh, but if feelings are for young men, are they they're bigots? And Lucas says, bigots will be blocked. Douglas Marathon, of the last name I'm not even going to try to pronounce because we'll fuck it up, is a bigot. Women prefer older men. And what about cougars? That's not fact. <laughs> then he says, all hetero female ma female mammals prefer older men. All of them. You hear that, y'all? Y'all better not be dating anyone younger than you if you're women in here because... Lucas has a PhD that he made up, and he said that, that all hetero mammals, female mammals, prefer older men. So y'all either aren't mammals, aren't female, or what, if you don't, like, just want an, an old smelly hobo. Anyway, someone called him out on that, and he said, nope, you're a bigot. An ageist bigot. All bigots blocked. Young girls don't have to like you, yeah. Oh, coo so cougars are a fetish, not real love. All hetero females prefer older males. So, does that mean I was technically in a fetish relationship for the majority of my adult life? Oh, hi, Lucas.
Yeah, Lucas comes in with uh, Lucas comes in with things like this every now and then. Lucas would eat an egg roll in one fucking bite like a snake. I know Lucas is big mad tonight. Every now and then I should look at actually who's in here. He hasn't realized he's been blocked from talking yet. The funny thing is, like, Lucas actually is not blocked from this channel. Like, he could pop on in here on either one of his accounts either time, and unless he started spamming the chat, I'm not going to mute him. Oliver Dangle. Oh, look, it's Lucas again. It, it, does this mean I'm like, come on, I'm eight, there are 18 concurrent viewers, how the fuck is that popular enough to get a spamming troll? What the hell is wrong with y'all? Pick a better target. I mean, you can continue picking it in here, I don't really fucking care, it's easy enough to, you know, just remove the messages, but... I don't know. I'm, I'm, I kind of like the Rowdy Rodriguez. See, Rowdy Pete is okay sounding, but Rowdy Rodriguez is even better. I'm going to go with Rowdy, Rowdy Rodriguez over uh, over Mr. Dangle. Besides, Rodriguez has a bigger uh, bigger solar farm. Lucas, you bored, honey? I think he's bored. Lucas is bored. That's so cute. Yeah, he does. I mean, we've. I mean, Chris, we've been looking all evening at Lucas just throwing out racial slurs like he thinks he's entitled to use them. Uh, in the last stream, we went over what he thinks about Jewish people, uh, what he thinks about Muslims, what he thinks about Islam. Uh, we all. Ooh, you know what? Let's try some misogyny. Oh, thank God I spelled it right. Let's see. Sluts to shame. Oh, that's real feminist of you, Lucas. Oh, his job interview? Yeah, he mentioned something in a comment about, like, having an online company interested in him. And I wonder what kind of scam company is, like, trying to hire him. I mean, they're going to do a background check regardless, but yeah. Oh, there's Lucas misusing the term narcissistic supply. Yeah, he'll have a grave just, you know, here lies Lucas, he never scored. <laughs> No, magazines. Maybe he's going to sell magazines door to door. <laughs> oh, right. Forget to turn timestamps on. Oh, that's better. I don't know, Lucas couldn't possibly smell worse dead than he does alive. Oh, I remember this stream. Tried to do a live stream, but they were incapable of being nice to me, so I shut it down. I remember that. He used to get so, so mad. Right, so you're just going to give in to the greed and misogyny of the guys of thin blue lines swooping and flashing two women or more at a time? So now it's cops that are stealing his chicks? Okay. Oh, this one should be good. Anything that starts with him starting to lose control is always going to be good. 2015, I'm starting to lose control of my voice again. When I said I needed a woman, that wasn't to get you naysayers coming up to me so I have to exert energy to shut you down. I'm not kidding any of you. I need a woman, and the longer I go without one, the, is going to push me to jail because you need to learn to listen, and if you have no way to help, I'm quite serious. You need to shut up. 
or this isn't going to work, and no, this isn't your place to ask me questions and insult about it, because you and I are going to have a little discussion about territory and yours and my little complication? Was that a threat? He probably does think Jesus is stealing his chicks. I mean, if, given that Jesus is supposed to, you know, be a protector of the innocent, he probably should be stealing chicks from Lucas, but, you know. Yeah, I just love that Lucas stole food from a food pantry to take to a homeless shelter and then, like, tried to pass it off as a, a donation that was generous and wonderful. Like, no, the fuck it's not. What the hell? And then he got mad when people pointed that out. He must have deleted a bunch of shit here. Women are friends with vaginas. Need woman. Huh? And someone says you'll never get one running like a bitch on Facebook. Stop crying about not being able to get a woman and yours will get bigger and maybe someone will notice. Girls don't like crying guys with no balls. <laughs> Let's see. Malcolm says more like desperate begging guys and Lucas says please fuck Malcolm. Malcolm says oh I get laid a lot unlike you. <laughs> How great shoplifters and Lucas tries to make a homophobic joke. Uh, and says, I bet your boyfriends are happy to hear you post about their balls. <laughs> the dude comes back with, I bet your girlfriend, oh, never mind, you don't have any. <laughs> Sherry tries to be nice. Lucas, you're so filled with anger, practically leaps off the page and blah, 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 blah. And Lucas says, shut up, Sherry. <laughs> Hmm. He must have deleted a bunch of comments in here because it's just been babbling at himself. Lucas doesn't delete anything. Like, he just, like, he doesn't. Um, he used to occasionally delete on his Instagram, which is why I started saving the videos initially. Uh, but for the most part, if he deletes, it's because something didn't upload right, and he basically re-uploads it a few minutes later. Lucas says, maybe the reason you're single is no man has offered to finger-bang you like a jackhammer through concrete before, and you're dissatisfied with their paltry efforts. To... I mean, I don't have those parts. But I think if somebody tried to do anything like a jackhammer to me, I would be very dissatisfied with that performance. Um, I mean, I guess when you're like only two inches long at full mast, you probably have to resort to like hands or toys or something because the one you got ain't fitting anywhere. Uh, let's see, and he must have been talking to somebody whose comment is gone. So I need a girlfriend that looks like you and is like you. You remind me of Alice from Alice in Wonderland, Amy Mae Lewis. I want to be your caterpillar. Okay, first of all, Alice from Alice in Wonderland was fucking eight years old. Does he realize that Alice from Alice in Wonderland was a ch like an actual child? Like an actual child? Telling somebody that you that they remind you of Alice from Alice in Wonderland and you want to fuck them? She was eight. You fucking pedophile. Oh my god. That's disgusting. Oh my god, someone recommended Dr. Laura. <laughs> oh lord. I say things to get women to pay attention to me. I'm conducting science like a big boy. I do not have, I, wait, I do have, am I brain broken? I do have not of Facebook dialogue with younger, attractive, intelligent women now. 
the more of you I talk to here, the easier it gets offline. It's really just to meet women. That's obvious. I do have not a Facebook dialogue with younger, attractive, intelligent women now. There's words missing there. Oh, yeah, I like the old Disney Alice in Wonderland. He's not even smart enough to be the caterpillar. You, Sam. No way. I don't think I have the, D or the VHS anymore, but the DVD's on the shelf behind me. I also apparently have the entire set of Daria, which I should rip so I can watch it on something that's not an external drive. And if my eyes are still working, I stole them. <laughs> I took the critic DVDs when we got the divorce. That's cool. X was the one that liked them. That's mine now. They probably don't even know it's gone. Conduct an experiment, says Lucas. Be nice and see how fast the women run away. It's like building a radio from scraps of radio. Radio Shack sold parts to build and fix rate. This analogy doesn't make sense. I'm already mad. I run ahead. It's like building a radio from scraps at Radio Shack. There are many different ways to build a radio from parts, but it will never work unless you can make electricity flow through a circuit. What does Radio Shack have to do with that? What the fuck does radio... Mm. That, that didn't make any sense. It, it, it's not even untrue. It just doesn't make sense. It's How does he think he's intelligent? Like, I, I don't think I could, like, necessarily walk straight, and I definitely would, like, fail any field sobriety test and probably sound like a complete lunatic half the time right now. But if I'm looking at something in the state that my mind is in, and I'm looking at it and going, what the fuck, this doesn't make any sense? Oh, my God. And just to be fair, because I know people at the farms watch us and will probably have feelings, I'm not actually mad. I'm just very, very dramatic sometimes. <laughs> But no, I'm not actually not actually mad. I'm in a very good mood. But also, fuck you, Lucas. Learn to English. It's your native language. You grew up speaking it. You don't have an excuse for this. Eat the cake. Eat the cake himself, and then bitch that it was too small, and they should give him more cake, and someone needs to cash up in money so we can buy another one. Kitty, what are you doing out there? What do you have? Did you find a cat or something? Uh, I don't feel like getting up to go look. Um, yeah, hello. I have no idea which kitty just said meow to me, but hello. It's not you, you're asleep. Uh, anytime I picture Lucas like eating cake, it's just Homer Simpson in hell with the donuts being fed to him. That's basically a less disgusting version of Lucas eating cake. Actually, Lucas, if he had a TikTok, would probably be sharing that video of that guy who, like, smashes his face into the cake thinking it makes him look like he knows how to do oral really well, and, like, everyone else is just making fun of him for being bad at it. Lucas would take that shit seriously. He's not a changed man. That was an entire ass lie. He was just, uh, trying to see if he could get to control his narrative back, and reality does not let him do that. Because the reality is all the shit we're looking at here, the stuff we've looked at at past streams, everything that you can find on literally just about any other video about Lucas, um, anything that comes up on the Geek Room if you watch those, um, anything in uh, Walter Fate's playlist of Lucas, which is a series of a bunch of different videos, plus a few different live streams, which are all definitely worth watching. Um, he's done some really old stuff on Lucas, like the old pastebin chat log where he was trying to get that 16-year-old to... Catfish to cut off her finger to prove that he or that she wasn't a catfish. And also listening to Walter read the chat logs and trying not to sound like either disgusted or like he wants to just die laughing is pretty good too. No, we're not doing so you know no, you're doing soft serve ice cream. Now I have to find it. Now I have to find it. I wonder if it's on his Facebook. Damn it. Eh, if it's not here, I'll go grab it from the farms. Ooh. 
post about ice cream a lot. What has to do with ice cream? I need Christ to slow the fuck down. Okay. Oh wow, something before pot was legal. My last girlfriend is currently 54. The one before her is 48. My first girlfriend was 13 when I was 12. I'm currently sort of 36. My previous same age of... Oh. Are you talking about elections being like ice cream? Oh, it was a DM. He didn't post that. Oh, man, now I got to find it. Oh. Y'all deserve this. You all absolutely deserve to have to see this. Y'all, I'm going to take it all away with the, uh, with the screenshot of the disgusting DM that he sent. <laughs> It's on like the first one or two pages of the oh. There it is! Disgusting! I wanna die. Oh right, I was gonna get the crazy weird thing that he did out there. So I'm gonna just copy and paste you. Grab this terrible, terrible image. Nobody in their right mind should ever want to see. But you're all going to see it. Because you are. There's my folder of Lucas garbage. I don't like to save that in normal folders where it might touch my other files. Thanks, Defender, for interrupting me to tell me that you didn't find anything, because of course you didn't. I know what I'm doing. Uh, that's not the right browser. What the hell browser was I in? Oh, Firefox. Okay. Oh, I hit my menu bar? What kind of trash am I? Is that the right folder? That's the right folder. Oh, I should probably actually look and make sure this is on the screen. Okay. Y'all are never going to look at ice cream again the same way. I'm going to leave that there for a bit. Before I attempt to read it, I do not want to read this. I, I cannot tell you how much I do not want to read this because I generally just, I, I, I like ice cream. Um... It's very hard to like ice cream after reading this. But it gives you an idea of how sloppy bad it probably is. Oh, hi, Kitty. Yes, Kitty, please stand in front of the screen so I can't read the disgusting Lucas words. You're very cute. Yeah, go, keep standing right there. Sniff the mic. Oh, no, wait. You're not blocking the screen anymore. Rude. That was the little baby. I mean, she, I think she's going to stay kitten size. She's about eight months old, and she looks like half that age. But she's just very tiny. Hey, kitty, you going to stop me from reading this? No? That's not very nice of you. All right. I mean, just, just imagine how bad the technique he's describing would have to be here. <clears throat> this is literally one of the worst things I'm ever going to read in my life out loud. It, it's bad enough that I had to read it in my brain. Um, so, yeah, Lucas sent this to someone who was catfishing him, and he thought this was, uh, sexy, so keep that in mind. No, 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 y'all were talking about soft serve ice cream, you, you earned this. I don't know what I did to deserve it, probably running this channel. <laughs> All right. This is a disgusting DM Lucas sent to a catfish that was he thought was underage, um, and that um, he thought this was uh, sexy. See if I can get through this. I already want to die. Hi, Kitty. <laughs> Make me stop this horrible thing. I, okay, but I really need you to be not on my face. Thank you. 
Oh, this is so disgusting. First of all, before I read that, look at the thing above it. Is that, can I, is that even on the screen? Yeah, the big glittery thing that says anal sex. What the fuck's he going to use for that? He's not even two inches long. Hmm. You know, one of these times you would think he would show up, but he never does because he's just an absolute bitch. What time is it? It is, oh Christ, it's almost 11. Okay, so I'm going to read the horrible thing and that's what you get to spend the rest of your night with because I actually do have to work in the morning, so I can't be up until like 2 in the morning doing this. So we're going to close this stream out with this horrid, horrid mental image of a sexy DM that Lucas sent to a catfish um, back in, I think, 2016. I hate you all for making me think of this by talking about soft serve ice cream. Here we go. I tried not thinking about you yesterday, baby, but before you, <laughs> before you know it, I knew I couldn't get through this. Before you know it, there was come on the floor, and I was breathing like I just sprinted a mile. <laughs> That's not even the terrible part. No, you you sit there and you listen like an adult. <laughs> I'm, I'm almost also going to read it the way he wrote it, and then with the correction. So he initially wrote, "I'm going to your pussy." I'm going to your pussy like a bowl of soft serve ice cream without a spoon. And then he corrected it because he left a word. <laughs> I'm an adult. I can say these words without laughing. I'm a fully functional adult. I can read this. <laughs> okay. It's just that. The visual is so bad, and it just lends to how terrible his technique is and probably never satisfied a woman in his life. I am going to eat your pussy like a bowl of soft-serve ice cream without a spoon. He sent that as a sexy message to somebody and really thought that would be a turn-on. I can only imagine how just dissatisfied with life every girlfriend he's ever had has been if that's his technique. It's just... Basically, it's just he's there's he's so bad at everything. But this this is even better than the sexy voicemail little ovulator. This nothing he will never say anything is just fundamentally hilarious and gross. As I'm going to eat your pussy like a bowl of soft serve ice cream without a spoon. I like that he specified without a spoon because she might think there would be a spoon involved if he didn't. I mean, he satisfies a lot of people in the extent that they're glad they're not him. I can give him that much. Um, but yeah. I don't think that stub's ever been able to get to anything. It's too small. Even when he was thin, it was too small. It's basically not there. He might as well not have one. But uh, yeah. There you go. You keep that mental image of Lucas eating a bowl of soft serve ice cream without a spoon because he's never going to get pussy, so that's not going to happen. Yes, he was also going to eat uh, eat your uterus. Uh, that was a terrible video. An absolutely terrible video. Uh, but yeah, he was going to... And then I think in that same video, he also said he would eat that pussy all night till he's shitting clitoris. And that's exactly how he said it. That is not my mispronunciation. He does know that there's only one, right? And if he's going to be eating enough to apparently shit them out, he's going to need more than one woman. And also, nobody would want that eaten, um, like, in that way, because that, that would be painful. So, <clears throat> yeah, he's he's very bad at it being... I honestly wish he would try to do more, like, attempting to be sexy videos, because those are so just, like, beyond cringe that they're that they're funny as hell. Um, but yeah, there, that's, that's what you get to leave with. That's, I should really change the thumbnail of this to this image, but YouTube would probably delete the video if I did that. Yeah. That's your, that's your last thought for the night. Lucas eating a bowl of soft serve ice cream without a spoon, because you know damn well he would do that. Um, enjoy your night, and, uh, 
probably the nightmares that'll come from this 